Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, we just finished our Mardi Gras Bling It On parade last weekend and it was so much fun. And I really enjoyed watching all the different artists and their creativity was just off the charts. It was so cool. One of those artists in particular, Tiffany Remine, was amazing. And she did this multimedia piece with a kind of a Dutch pour blowout with a mask and, and it was just really, really pretty. And something about the way that she was using the hair dryer, just kind of like, it felt really right to me. And I was like, oh, that's what, so I kind of want to try that tonight. You guys that know me <laughs> know Dutch pours are not really my thing and thin paint is not really my thing, but I really want to give this a try and see how it goes. I'm not using a mask like she did, but I might leave some negative space and maybe we might put a stencil on there later on or something, I don't know, we'll see. But let me show you the colors and what I'm using real quick and we'll get started. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. And I have painted my sides and edges with my dioxazine purple. I'll just show you the colors right now. Uh, first of all, we are using this mysterious color again that my friend Gina DeLuca gave me a recipe for. This one is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green and Deep Sapphire. And I started with the Emerald Green base and mixed the Deep Sapphire until it got the color that I wanted. Very, very pretty. This is not super, super, super thin. It's very thin for me, but it's not super thin for everybody else on Earth. <laughs> but that's a beautiful color and I love the way that it dried in Bon Tom. That was such a fun pour, and I really it was outside of my comfort zone to embellish it and use the liquid glass on it, but I'm so happy that I did because it was beautiful. I'll link that one for you up here also. So that's our Mysterious. The next one we're using is Emerald Green by itself. So this is really, really pretty, and I actually really like the contrast between these two together. I think that's going to be beautiful. Okay, next we have, where is it? Here it is. Decor Americana Decor Metallics in Sterling Silver. Very, very pretty. So that's our Sterling Silver. And I'm also using my favorite Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol tonight, partially because I wanted it kind of thin and I didn't want to thin out mix that much. So <laughs> that's the 24 karat gold. And then this is the color that I'm super excited and happy about. This is Decor Americana Decor Metallics in Obsidian with just a little tiny drop of dioxazine purple in it. And it is so pretty. Just beautiful. I love that kind of gunmetal grayish, but with the warmth of the dioxazine purple. Just really, really beautiful. I love that. Kind of raven colored, if you will. So that's going to be our backgroundy sort of color and we're going to blow out those other ones on top of that. We'll see how this goes. It could go amazing, it could go horribly wrong. So let's see. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some of this down, this obsidian dioxazine color. And what I kind of want to do is I want to kind of leave this part sort of blank and then have my colors start fanning out from here. So I guess I need to put this down on this area then. All right, so we're just gonna pour this and this is pretty thin for me. I'm gonna pour this along this area and maybe another strip right there. Okay, I'm gonna spread that out real quick. That's such a pretty color. Okay, so this is why you have to go on the as well. All right, now what Tiffany did, I've heard called the chaos technique, <laughs> where they just kind of drizzle the colors. And this is where I think I figure out that my paints are probably still a little thick. But that's okay, I don't care. Okay. So we're just literally gonna lay down the colors on top of here. And I said I was gonna leave that corner blank and I didn't, huh? Okay. Some gold. Some emerald green. Okay. A little bit of this 
silver. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this. And I'm gonna put some right here along the edge. No mysterious. That's the first one I put down. I'll just put some on top too. nervous. <laughs> All right, we're going to use my little pinky Yeeho blow dryer buddy thing. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. What do you think, AJ? Hey, Very interesting. <laughs> that was diplomatic. <laughs> um, cool. I like this part. I like this like very pale edge, but I think I actually wanted like to leave some negative space over here. I mean, I could just pour more of this. Let's try that actually. Let's see what happens. Pour a little bit of this over here.
Which one do you think HOAD you like that better? I do like it better. So do I. Mm. So do I. Very cool. You wouldn't have more control <coughs> with the, uh, the big guns. The big gun. Mm. It certainly have more power. Well, maybe, but I didn't want to use that one tonight. Well, that's pretty neat. There's some cells coming up in through here. It's not exactly what I had, well, I guess maybe it is kind of what I thought about, but I do really like this color of the obsidian with the purple in there. And I love the greens with the mysterious. I like that you can see the sterling silver and the 24 karat gold. We're starting to get some cells in there. Let's torch this and see how it goes. put a tiny bit of water in this and put a little bit around here and blow it out because I don't want those lines from where I smoothed it out with the spatula. Probably would have been better to put this base coat on and just tilt it off rather than trying to smooth it out. So I'm just going to pour some of this like right along this edge. Oops. And then we're going to blow that out. Interesting. Well, okay. I'm gonna turn this around so that you guys can see it. I actually like what blowing that base coat did because it seems a little more leaf like, like the blowout of the colors. I wish this was a little more uneven. Like I like this side, this side seems a little bit even, but that's okay. That's all good. This is really pretty though. These cells that are popping in there are beautiful. And I like the colors and I love the base coat color. So we're gonna let this dry and I'll show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. We'll be right back.
Yeah, like that right there. That's really cool. So I wanted to take a second and show you guys Obsidian Heart dry now and in the sun. Really, really pretty. Gorgeous lines in here. So those obsidian cells over here that at the time I did not like, but now I kind of do. <laughs> I love these up here with a little bit of gold on them. The corners, I don't know. I think it was a, a good idea. Execution, well, I mean, I don't know. This one looks kind of neat. So they do kind of blend in a little bit more. And I'm glad I followed the natural shape that was there and didn't just do them all exactly the same. Um, would I do it again? Uh, I think I might do it differently next time. And I actually have a couple of ideas that I want to play with. So anyways, I just wanted to show you this one completely dry and in the sun. So this one was Obsidian Heart. That's a 24 by 24. There we go. So we're going to try this since there's some sun on this spot. This is our Tiffany inspired blowout. Uh, this is the one we had the obsidian background mixed with the dioxazine purple. Looks really, really cool. I love that emerald green, that mysterious in there. And this is all kind of glowing and beautiful and sparkling with the 24 karat gold in there and the silver. And then over here in this corner, where it had left some of that negative space, I went ahead and used my This Little Piggy Pigments in Lagoon. And uh, I think I used Velvet in there too, but I, that was like the first layer, so I got covered up. But that looks really cool. Very pretty, kind of bubbling off into this little blowout up here. So, sort of a flower, almost. <laughs> I mean a flower. <laughs> But really really fun I haven't put any kind of varnish or anything on this one and it did use the um, Liquitex gloss gel so it is kind of raised and 3d which is kind of cool my brother came over and he was like whoa that's neat I love that so that was really fun that was filigree the other one the big mandala that I did so that one might be going to him <laughs> but this was really fun I really like this please go check out Tiffany's channel she is so funny she has absolutely had me in stitches in her video which I will link for you guys in the description box but go say hi check out her channel subscribe like all that jazz leave her a comment tell her I said to say hi and uh, I will see you guys real soon thank you so much for being here with me today I love you guys a lot and I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful springtime that's coming up so we'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, Bax. What you doing? <laughs> Hi, baby. What you doing, Baxy? You playing with your blanket? Hi. Hi. You want your toy? You want your stick? Is it your blanket? You funny boy, Baxter.